If you're ready to see some Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs that are super simple and affordable to make, then just keep watching. Okay friends, let's start off with this Dollar Tree wood round and I start off by just taking off the tag. Next, I'm gonna cover up the holes in the back with a little bit of hot glue and then using my Chalk Couture squeegee, you can use any squeegee or any type of um, silicone that you want and I just kind of scrape that smooth. What that's gonna do is put a little, you know, barrier in the back that way as you just saw, I filled the holes with some lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree, and it's just going to hold that lightweight spackling in place. And then once the spackling was dry, I sanded that down and then gave the wood round a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I'm going to take this Christmas tree farm transfer that I have had in my stash for a few years now. As you guys know, as I always say, if you see transfers on the site that you like, definitely grab them when you see them because they do retire. And um, sometimes they're only here for a season and then you can't get them anymore. They are reusable. They are super sturdy and durable. Um, you can get many, many uses out of them as long as you take care of them. So definitely grab them when you see them, like I said, but obviously that was not gonna fit on this wood round. So all I did was just transfer on one piece at a time. As you saw, I did the tree and then the top wording and so on and so forth, choosing the colors that I saw fit. Once I was done with the transfer, then I just hot glued some jute from Dollar Tree all the way around the edge. And then to finish this sign, I took a little stand from a different Dollar Tree frame. I pulled it off the back, glued it to the back of this sign, and that was it. Look how absolutely gorgeous this turned out. This only took me about five to 10 minutes to do, not long at all. And that's what I love most about Chalk Couture transfers. The detailing is so amazing. You're not gonna get that with tracing. You're not gonna get that with vinyl unless you're gonna sit there for hours and weed it. And again, that's like my favorite thing is the gorgeous detail. I am so excited that you decided to click on this video. My name's Melissa. I love to do all things crafty on a budget. And if you enjoyed that DIY, I would love if you would become part of my crafty family by just clicking that red subscribe button and then share this out. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I'm so excited to show you guys these other DIYs. So let's jump back into today's video. For DIY number two, this is another super easy one. I love to bring you guys complicated projects. However, the easy ones are really nice for those of you that are intimidated. As you guys have probably seen, I've just been trying to encourage more of you because you guys don't understand. I might not be able to answer all the comments, but I do see them and more people than not say that they're too afraid to try the projects and I just would love for you guys to try it because trust me when I tell you I was not always the perfect crafter so anyway there's my encouragement for the day I took this little sign from Dollar Tree that I believe was supposed to look like mountains I took the tag off as well as the little screw in the back the hanger and then I gave it a distress coat of my white Waverly chalk paint Next, all I did was take these new chip brushes that I found on Amazon. I have them linked in my Amazon shop for you. And I took my Moss Waverly chalk paint and I just took my brush and kind of dabbed it in the direction where the branches would go. For the trunk, I just took some antique wax on the end of a small brush and made some trunks. And then for the bigger tree, I it went a little heavy handed. So I did go in with some white Waverly chalk paint just to tone down that moss. I then took this transfer from this um, transfer that had six in it. I absolutely love every single image. So essentially you can get so many projects out of just one transfer. Um, the possibilities are endless. Sometimes you just have to look past what you see and you can 
come up with so many different things. So anyway, I was not satisfied with the coloring of what I did with the with the first um, chalk paste. So I did go over that with some of my black paste and I obviously covered the trees with my pesto paste and set that aside. I then took a scrap piece of stir stick, cut off the handle, stained that with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Once that was dry, then I distressed it with my white Waverly chalk paint and my mini chip brush. I also had two stars left over from a different project. So I did go ahead and glue them to the top of each. I glued two squares from Dollar Tree to the back of this little sign so that I had more to glue to. And then last but not least, I hot glued that down to my cut stir stick. And that was it, you guys. I love this for a tiered tray. It would be perfect on a hutch or a mantle. It depends, whatever you personally like. And I know you guys will let me know down in the comments which project was your favorite today. For DIY number three, all I did was take this tag sign from Dollar Tree that I got back at Valentine's Day last year. I cut the hanger off and pulled the little bow off of the front. I then flipped it over to the back side and gave it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. And then I pulled out the December image from the new 2023 calendar from Dollar Tree. If you guys want a calendar, don't worry, those are going out tomorrow. I finally got the mailers and got them all um, with the label on them, so don't worry, they are coming to you guys. So anyway, once I had that glued down with my purple disappearing glue stick, then I just took my mini zip sander, which is also linked in my Amazon shop in the description box below, and I just sanded off the excess on the edges. Next, to make this look like it was a part of this sign, I took my pencil and lightly drew little lines right where the lines met the calendar image, just again so that it all looked cohesive. To cover up the edges of the calendar, I have this gorgeous braided ribbon from Dollar Tree that I don't even know when I got it. I don't believe that it was for a season. I believe that it was back in the um, like forever crafting section. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, where the vases are and um, like all the cottons and the wreath forms. That is where I found this. So I grabbed a couple rolls because I absolutely love it. And I just cut that down to size and glued that to the top and the bottom of the calendar image. Next, I took this ribbon that I got at Walmart on clearance last year at Christmas time. I made a simple bow. If you guys need a bow tutorial, I will leave that linked in the right hand cards for you guys. But I just made a simple bow. And then that bow that we pulled off from the front actually I thought looked perfect. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. At first, I thought it looked perfect. But then looking at it in video, I'm not too sure about it. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like this combo? Or would you have chosen something different? Um, but I just glue that down to the top of my sign. And then I take my chip brush and some antique wax and just dry brush all the way around my sign. I also made sure to lightly brush some lines where um, the faux wood grain is. And then to finish this sign, I just took some greenery that I had in my stash and it had beautiful crystals all over it. It looked like snow, which I felt went perfect with this image. And then I just took some berries and glued that down to the greenery. That was it for this sign, you guys. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I love that gorgeous red truck with the tree in the back and it is just getting me so excited for Christmas. My family will be completely Complete. my baby boy will be here and I'm just so excited so let me know in the comments what you guys think of DIY number three moving on to DIY number four now I lost the footage my camera does some odd things you guys but I took one of these signs from Dollar Tree I was just showing you which sign that I used and I um, sanded down all of that glitter. I gave it two coats of my white Waverly chalk paint, and then I distressed it with my antique wax and my mini chip brush. 
I took another one of those little transfers from that larger transfer that we cut into six different ones. And that is the beauty about this. You can customize this. You see how I just did that reindeer. So I did the reindeer with my bark chalk paste and then the wording I'm gonna do with my black paste, obviously the berries with my candy apple and then the greenery with pesto. And then once you pull back that transfer, you reveal this absolutely insanely gorgeous image. If you guys wanna know how to get 40% off of everything on the site, just like I do, um, let me know, text me at the number 302-204-0881, the word chalk, or if you just need ketone info, or to be a part of the text crew to get alerts when I go live, when I upload new content, etc. So anyway, I showed you guys here how to make this simple, gorgeous bow. You're going to make it in two pieces and you're going to start by folding the ribbon that you like over on itself four times, cutting that and then tying it with some jute. Next, you're going to cut another piece and glue it kind of like in a V and then you're gonna glue your first bow piece to the second bow piece. Next, I glue that to the top of my sign, cut down the ends into a dovetail, added some greenery to the sides, and once again, you guys, such a quick and easy sign, and it looks so high-end. Okay friends, for the last and final DIY, I take another one of these same signs, I cut the hanger off of it this time, and then once again I use that same hot glue trick in the back and lightweight spackling in the front to fill the holes. Once that was dry, I sanded that down smooth. Now you want to be careful because this is like paper it's not wood so if you sand too hard you will um, hit the paper but I wasn't too worried about it because as you see here once I scraped off all that glitter sanded it down smooth then I gave this sign a or I should I should Ay, ay, yeah, you guys, I'm so sorry, I can't talk. I gave my sign two really good coats of my Truffle Waverly chalk paint, and then I stained four of those candlestick holders from Hobby Lobby, as well as one little wood piece square, or I should say square wood piece from Dollar Tree with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. Next, I dry brushed around the first sign and I added that piece of um, wallpaper from Dollar Tree to the front, but don't worry about that step because I ended up doing this in reverse. Originally, I was gonna put the wood piece underneath and then have that image showing, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I ended up just gluing the wood piece to the top gluing the candlestick holders to the bottom obviously and then to tie this all together i just dry brushed all the way around i didn't do the feet because when i stained them i did stain them with like a distress stain if you will so i did not worry about dry brushing that but i absolutely love this little riser i'm curious to know what your favorite diy is if you guys are here if you guys are still here leave me a christmas tree in the comments down below and I just want to say that I appreciate every single one of you if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning you are worthy you are gorgeous honey if nobody has told you today you are glowing so anyway I want you guys to know you can do anything you set your mind to you just have to want it bad enough so with that being said again don't forget to share this out hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if you need any ketone info chalk info or if you want to be a part of the text crew don't forget to text my number at 302-204-0881 and until next time guys I love you so much bye don't forget to stop, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.